Hi Capricorn, welcome to your week ahead reading for May 10th through May 16th. Happy Mother's Day to you if it applies, <laughs> your state side. Um, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be an open-ended reading or an all-encompassing reading, not just romance or work and money and that sort of thing. Um, also, this may resonate with yours or your person's moon, rising, or Venus sign if this is a read a, ends up being a romantic reading and some of them have been so like all romance like you know i think it was just like yeah your work is fine that's why all your attention is going to the romance uh, department here okay all right capricorn how y'all doing some orders are being lifted and the weather's nice stateside anyway so hopefully you're able to enjoy a bit of that all right capricorn the week, not the month. I have to remember it's not a monthly reading, it's a week. <laughs> Two of Swords, Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Hierophant, Two of Cups, The Lovers, good gracious, The Moon. This is Gemini, Taurus, or Libra. This could be Taurus. This could be Pisces or Cancerian. The, what's, what was it? It was the Hermit. I think it was the Hermit and can't remember the hermit and something else was coming up a lot eight of swords was coming up a lot um yeah maybe i'll remember but there's quite a few repeaters here not here but i mean in in this series or cycle of reading for the week all right so what's this eight of wands about I don't know. Let's do the Six of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles about? Oopsie. And there's the Hermit again. Moon card, Hermit, Nine of Cups. Yep. So this is you um, kind of responding to the change by going inward. What change am I talking about? Looks like you're... Well, it looks like you something suddenly abruptly changed for you. But what? What's this Six of Pentacles about? Capricorn. Seven of Wands. What's this? Hmm. Yeah, what's this Hierophant? You're still dealing with the after effects of something. What's this Hierophant about? <laughs> no rest for the weary, right? <laughs> this Two of Cups. Mm. I was hoping not. It feels like you're going to have to be like firmly ensconced in place with boundaries. This, this feels like it's, um, this feels like it's a romantic thing. What's this love? Because I mean, two of cups, lovers, six of pentacles. What's this lovers card about? 10 of pentacles. Ha, <laughs> isn't that funny? What's this eight of wands about? This is you holding a firm stance on the decision that you've already made to leave a situation and, and kind of keeping no contact keeping everything as it is so that you can fortify and be secure. Um, and in doing so, you realize that you have all that you need without that person. Um, and it's almost like, you know, people say, oh my gosh, I've saved so, so much money since this lockdown because I'm not going out. I can't. It's kind of like that, but the lockdown being the person, like I've saved so much money or things are so much more stable without this person coming at me or being in my life or tapping our resources. And this is you having separated yourself so you can do your own thing. Um, they're not quite having it though. They're not letting it go. And that's, that's what's showing here. I'm not just keeping an old storyline going. This is your person's not letting it go. What's this eight of wands about the magician that could be Gemini, Virgo or Aries. What's this moon card about this moon card about? Eight of Cups. Good for you. This also, too, is about you. Um, well, for as far as finances go, it's almost like don't let this be a distraction to you being able because you've got a couple of job offers coming. And one of them looks to be towards the end, if not next week. But there's you're going to have a lot of busyness around your job. So this I think that's part of the reason that's helping you kind of keep whatever this is at bay because you've got job multiple either your shifts are picking up um or all of a sudden you're getting hits on applications you put out there or this is a self business that is really starting to take off there's there's a lot of activity um in your work life and that's all the more reason why you're just like 
because you've got to focus on that anyway. There's there's just more busyness. So it's either job, it feels like job offers, but it could also just be more shifts. Shifts are picking back up. Hey, can you take over this? Can you handle this? Like, boo, 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 boo. So, um, and if it's, again, if it's at home, this is that picking up. Hold on, I'm putting on some, some lip balm here. Okay. Mm. Right. So, this is about you, and it, and it helps that you're busy and you've got a lot going on um, with that to be able to focus on what you're leaving behind. Because again, we're dealing with the um, someone not being able to, we've got the moon and we've got six of pentacles here. And this is feeling like, you know what, it's just not right. It's not a good fit. Walking away because of that and also taking your chances on the unknown Still, it's almost like walking away into the unknown, but you're intuitively led. So you're like, this feels right. I know I need to do this. So you're turning away from a difficult romantic situation. You're keeping your boundaries and you're focusing on work and bringing in more money because you have everything you need. But for the Capricorns I'm reading for, there's been a bit of a lull. Not that you mind it because, you know, it's it's been a couple of days of rest or a couple of weeks. But it, where there was a drought, now there's like abundance coming in. So you're, you're going to be busy. And it, it's only going to help fortify your decision to move towards security with this person over here. And you're going this way. And it, this is them reaching out. This is not you reaching out. They're not letting it go. This is someone that's current that you recently just ended things with. They're not letting it go. I'm sorry. It's not like, oh, they're going to call. It's going to be great. It's not. They need to be kept at bay because you've got a lot of stability and security that you can create for yourself that is waiting for you in the future. Um, and I keep, this is not a monthly reading. It's only a week. But you're making strides towards your own independence and you've just got someone dogging at you. So there's that. Um, okay. For the week anyway. And this is you choosing um, stability instead of connection with this person. It's it's just that they won't let it go and they need to and you need to stand your ground. If this wasn't here, this would be like, okay, you know what? There's a chance you two are talking. Um, this could be worked out. You could be talking about new parameters, but we've got this. We've got this. I mean, and we've got you having to really be quite diligent about your direction, your what you want and standing your ground and, and holding your boundaries on that. Capricorn. Eight of Swords. This is, well, in a way it's boundaries. It's a need to have boundaries because you've got someone that just keeps wanting it. And it keeps you feeling like you don't know. Like, well, maybe, but they said this or they said that. Or if you're not responding to that, they bring up a new, they come in from this side or they say this and you're like, enough. How is this supposed to make me want you if you all of a sudden were sweet talking to me? I didn't respond to that. And then you're going to, you know, bring this up or do just say, well, if you don't, then, oh, yeah, sweet talker. Now, now that you're intimidating me and trying to, you know, sort of strong arm me into taking you back. Now I really want you back. Wow. Talk about building trust with me. You know, what are you, what are you doing? Not you. I'm talking about your person. They're just, it, it, they're doing things that make you feel like, and you, you can, you don't need, remember I said in the beginning, and I didn't know why I said that. I thought I was being judgy. Turns out I'm not. You have everything you need without this person. You don't need them. They make you feel like you do, or they make you feel guilty. They call upon your sense of responsibility, duty, and obligation. And for some reason, it, it's kind of getting to you and you're there. There's the possibility that you're doubting yourself here and it's just best not to as much as you can deal with this person because they're going to do that. If they can't get to you this way, they're going to come over this way. If they can't get to enough. It there, this, you need time to think and the boundaries need to stay in place so that you can concentrate on your own security that you're trying to build without this person because they've got you thinking you need them or that somehow you should take them with you or provide for them with this whatever you do I need to be a part of it whatever you do no you don't you're not part of my effort anymore okay all right what else for and you keep your friends and wise counsel close and you keep your eye on the prize so that you it's baby steps so you're not going to get distracted or pulled back in because 
you know, throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what sticks comes to mind here. They're going to keep up, upping the ante and, and ratcheting things up. The more distance you get, the more decisions you make for your own betterment, your own prosperity. Um, they, they need to be able to provide for themselves and you, they need to release you to do your own thing. And this is you, this could be, doesn't have to be, but it could be a week of you having difficulty keeping boundaries with this person because they're just so darn persistent or they somehow have managed to rein, rein you, uh, reel you back in with guilt or um, obligation or, okay, fine, I accept your decision. I just want to know um, what you want to do about, you know, so-and-so's broken arm. Wait, what? Oh yeah, they broke their arm the other day. You're, you're leading with that? Like you're, I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, okay, fine, yeah, go ahead. Just let me know what you want to do about the medical bill for so-and-so. What medical bill? Well, they broke their arm. You didn't tell me that. You, that sort of thing. So it's always that little like slow water drip that just, who knows where I can record. Maddening. Blaze your own trail, yes, which is what you're trying to do and you need to continue to do that. This is you leaving and embarking on your own journey, doing your own thing, which you are entitled to do, even if so-and-so does break their arms. Arm, not arms. And what do you want to do about that? Oh, well, just shoot me the bill. Thanks for letting me know. And then you can flip out in private. But they're looking for a reaction because why? When you have a reaction, you're in your feelings. And when you're in your feelings, you can be manipulated. When you're staying in fact and truth and in your own direction, you cannot. Stay there. Easier said than done. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, this says originality, by the way. I can't remember if I said that. What else for Capricorn? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Judgment reversed. Yeah, that didn't need to be turned. And nine of what? What? Judgment reversed and nine of wands. No reunion, no reconciliation. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Build that fortress around yourself. You're making good uh, progress and good strides. Keep that up. This is not about reviewing the power, getting sucked back into the past. This is you standing your ground. You can't see that. I get to go in and I forget to look at the monitor to make sure you can see everything. Okay, all right. Okay, Capricorn, um, again, happy Mother's Day to you if it applies. Um, thank you for your service if you're a first responder or essential worker. And much love to you. And I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.